Hey people fruit to welcome back to another bunch of things. So today I'm gonna have a video that it was originally a full hunt. It turned more into a field training for Commodore. So let's get started. So as I was mentioned, this was a full-on hunt that happened on Sunday and uh, unfortunately I made a huge mistake and the footage is not that great. And on top of the footage not being that great was an extremely, extremely slow day. So I'm going to just grab a segment, two segments of the video that are salvageable and worth anything. and. I'm gonna just show you um, the difference of what Commodore was doing in the prior to now and how he was reacting to the birds. Because you, you're gonna see why. So let's roll the clips and then we'll close this scene. As I said, this is gonna be a really short video and you guys can take a look on, on how Commodore is responding to this. So I'm gonna bypass the intro for the hunt and everything since I'm gonna not use the entire full uh, footage, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show you what Commodore was doing and how he was behaving, even though that the weather was cooler than other days that he's been hunting. Uh, he showed something amazing that it was really rewarding and really nice to see, and and showing the progress. Was still a lot of work to do, but he's showing some more progress and showing uh, signs that things are going in the right track. So let's 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 review uh, the salvageable uh, takes on for the day. Oh yeah, he's on. How many shots do you gonna take, dude? Come on! Come on! Dead bird! Come on! Dead bird! Timber, come on, big guy. Timber. Come on, big guy. Timber. Timber, big guy. Timber, fetch it up. Fetch it up. Fetch it up! Fetch it up, big guy! Ah, oh, he's 
is diving on us. Yeah, finally. Jesus Christ. Come here. Dead bird. Come on. Come on, Denver. Really, dude? Come on, Come on, Denver. Here. Dead bird. Ah. Dead bird. Dead bird. Dead bird. Fetch it up. Yes. Fetch it up, big boy. Come on, the bird, the bird, come on, the bird, fetch it up, the bird, come on, come on, the bird, come on. Oh boy. Fetch it up. <laughs> oh my god, this is beautiful. Come on, fetch it up. Oh boy. Come on, fetch it up. Fetch it up. So well, as you see, um, the little snips that you can see he actually ran and sprung and he had the, the attitude to, to go towards the birds. Unfortunately, all the birds were uh, somewhat crippled by the time that we get there. So in the first part of the video, uh, there was a group of widgeon passing. Now, I didn't want to take a shot. I had three groups of birds go through really early, like 5.57 or so. And I didn't want to take the shot because I didn't want to sky bust. It turns out that those birds were in laying in water and people shoot and they took off. These birds were cruising through through the marsh. So everybody that you hear shooting um, or everybody that I heard shooting were shooting at these really high birds. So I shoot two widgeons and as you can see one of the widgeons I'm pumping shells upon shells upon shells on this thing and it's, it's just nothing is happening. Now there was a what I consider a reason because it's the only thing that has changed and we're gonna I'm gonna go over that with you right now. Normally I shoot a Carlson's cremator non-porter choke to full range. The birds were starting to fly in era, at the beginning of the season, they started to fly really, really, really close. So I started missing the birds. So I decided to remove my full choke and move to the same brand, same model choke tube, but the mid range. And I kept the same, the same shells. Now I started missing really heavily, missing shots that I know for a fact are burned down started missing and the birds started getting crippled. So logically, it's in the middle of the season, I don't have time to pattern the shotgun and see what's happening. But I have a feeling that the mid-range with the two shells or is 
pattern, the pattern is not dense in the center, but it's way too open. Or the pattern is completely jacked and the concentration of pellets are just going to one side more than the other one. So I'm having issues with that. So normally I was shooting three inch number threes with the mid range and I had no misses. I had no cripples and I had actually one cripple and he took a second shell and we were done. Like bird was taken care of. But now it doesn't seem to be the same way because now all I had was number two. So today I had to drive like a crazy person uh, trying to find three inch shells and three inch shells number threes and I did find some so we're gonna see if if that is the issue. Um, today's Monday I'm gonna be hunting Wednesday so I'm bringing those shells and see what's gonna happen. Uh, hopefully we get some birds flying so but going back to the video um, I pump four or five shells on this bird and the thing is still cribble. Now, after you put five shells on the bird and the bird is staying in one area, I was like, okay, this bird is down, it's down. I send Commodore. Commodore at the beginning didn't see the birds, now it's really dark out there. Um, I had to line it up the screen because it was really, really, really dark. And he springs to it. Now, I missed most of it because the freaking GoPro was pointing to Narnia instead of in the right angle. So you missed a little bit of the spring, but he goes faster. Now he doesn't retrieve the bird because the bird still is crippled, is moving. So I pick up that first bird and as I'm picking it up, the second widgeon start moving, start cruising. And Commodore springs with everything, chase him. So you hear me say, fetch it up. And he goes, and now, by the time that he gets a neck length from the bird, the birds dive. And uh, we say, I send Commodore back to, to place. I put him in place for a little bit just to check uh, if it was too cold, what was happening. He was fine. There was no more birds flying. So we decided to do the walk, and I'm telling you that I put at least two and a half hours looking for that bird. No way to be found. On the second bird, you see me take a shoveler, um, which I had to put a couple of shells on that guy too, because it's the same reasoning, it was crippled. Um, on that one, you see Commodore spring really hard. So, so that was really, really nice. It was really rewarding to see Commodore uh, have that energy, that explosion. Uh, even that it was cold and even that he was cold, but like he had that drive that punch and that's what I was missing That's what I wanted to see Unfortunately, there was not a full retrieve because every single bird was a cripple and they were moving and he was kind of iffy at it So but yeah, like it that's exciting. It's I'm super pumped and super happy because I was starting to get worried about him not having drive uh, but he does so every every little bit of drive that I saw he, that I see here and on the field when I go and train with him, I saw it Sunday on the water and that made me extremely happy because at that point I'm like okay, and it's a little bit more boost of confidence. Um, the diet is working, even though he's still getting cold, he's getting used to it. He's 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 pushing through more than than before. So that's that's once again that's another step forward and more importantly he chased this bird like he went after them so that that made me extremely happy because i'm i'm now i gotta focus only on retrieving to him making sure that he grabs the bird making sure the bird is dead and grab bird retrieve to hand send to place and then we can have the routine now we know that for a fact that a bird dog is not going to be finished um until it's been one to two, possibly even three seasons in, but if we can accomplish to have Commodore go towards with drive, energy, speed, goes toward a down bird, retrieve and deliver to hand, we are good. But yeah, I'm pumped. I'm really excited to see that. Um, unfortunately, the footage um, wasn't the greatest. 
and unfortunately Sunday was completely dead, um, which is not an uncommon thing there, but I decided to be like, okay, let me take him out, let me hunt him one more time, and let's see, let's see where we are now that we are on the different diet and see, see what's happening with that. And yeah, it's paying off. So there you have it. If you like this video, like, subscribe, share, click the notification bell so you can be notified every time that I upload a new video. And I will see you in the next one. Pancho out.